guys, it's Way here, and welcome back to another FIFA 18 Ultimate Team video. And today, I'm going to bring you guys my weekly Team of the Week investment guide, showing you guys all of the best players from the current Team of the Week to invest in. So right now, with Team of the Week 5, there are some really, really good players to go ahead and pick up. Regardless of your budget, we've got cars that are discard price that you can go and invest in, all the way up to cars that are going to cost four or 500k. So plenty of different investments. No matter what budget you do have, you should be able to get yourself a few cards. One thing to bear in mind is that Ultimate Scream should have been released by the time this video has come out. So some of these cards may have risen in price because of that, because they may be needed for SBCs, and some of them may have dropped down in price as a lot of packs will have been opened, so a lot more of them will have been packed. So some of these may have dropped down, some of them may have gone up, but I'll be showing you guys the prices I would recommend investing in these cards for, and if you guys can get them for that price, you should be able to make an absolute ton of coins. Obviously, just keep them in your club until they rise up in price, as always with investments, sell them on once you're comfortable with the amount of profit you're going to be making on them, and it should be good. Also, if you guys do want to see more videos like this in the future on my channel, leave a like and be sure to subscribe if you're on your own here for daily thief content and without further ado let's go on into the team so first off we've got the most expensive player in the team of the week and that is David De Gea quite rare on the market right now but he is a very very good keeper with the stats right here he is probably the best or second best keeper on the game if you look at the stats, I mean, obviously people like Begovic are really overpowered, but if you're looking just at stats, him and Neuer are the two best non-icon keepers on the game. And with him playing in the Premier League, that is a massive pull factor for him. And he's around about 470k right now, which is quite cheap for him because he was about 600k yesterday. So he's already dropped down a bit in price. And with just how good he is, I mean, goalkeepers don't get that many informs. This could be the best keeper in the Premier League all the way up until team of the season. So if you guys have a lot of coins, could definitely be a good investment. I would recommend seeing what he goes to after the uh, all the packs have been opened with lightning rounds and everything for Ultimate Scream. So check on the weekend what he's going for. If you can get maybe 450, 440k, anything like that, I reckon this could actually be a really good investment if you have a lot of coins. Next up, I've got a much lower budget one, and that is Fabra. You can get him right now for about 12.5k. And I'd recommend waiting and seeing what happens with Ultimate Scream. If you don't need informs for those SBCs, this guy is going to be discard price. You'll be able to get him for 10k. And even if he is needed for SBCs, you should still be able to get him pretty cheaply. And just look at the stats you're getting. On a fullback, 90 pace, 84 physical. This guy is going to be the best Colombian left back on the game up until team of the season. And the best player from the Argentine League in that position as well. So if a really good player from the Argentine League gets an inform and since it's quite a hard league to link players up to, you don't have that many good players in it. If there's, let's say, a really good centre mid playing for Boca Juniors, people are going to want to go and buy this guy to link to him. If maybe Hamas Rodriguez gets an inform, people want to use that, they want to use a Colombian player for some chemistry, then this guy is going to be the one they go with. And if you can get him for discard price, it's no risk investments. Anyone you can get for around discard price, they're naturally going to rise. They can't drop down anymore. They will rise all the, as they'll no longer be impacted. They'll be rarer. They'll go up in price. And you've got SBCs that can make their price go up. And you've just got the fact that they're a good player and they're no longer in packs. Kimmich is a decent one as he is the best right back now in the Bundesliga. But he just isn't that quick. So I don't see him going up massively in price. Even though he has a really good card. He has below 80 pace which isn't that popular. But I think if this guy drops down below under about 70k. Maybe 60, 70k. He'd be a good investment there. But right now... He's just a little bit too expensive for the card you're getting. I mean, he does have really good stats, but he just doesn't have the pace a lot of people do look for in right backs. We then have this guy here called Berezuski, and you can get him right now for around 11k, one of the cheapest, if not the cheapest, in form in the team of the week right now, who has got a decent rating. Obviously, the, the, are the really cheap 78 and 79 rated in forms, but these are the ones you want to focus on, mainly the higher rated ones. And this guy, 82, is going to be a good discard price in form for SBCs. As I said, though, his price may have risen because of Ultimate Scream. I said earlier on, the prices may be affected by that, but I reckon if you can get this guy for about 11 or 12k, it should be a good investment. He's just going to rise up in price naturally, as he's no longer going to be in packs. This guy in the midfield, Belushi, really good investment, 83 rated. Right now, is about 17k, but uh, I reckon he's going to rise up a lot for any SBCs, and I was actually able to game yesterday for 13k I picked up a few of them and uh, I've sold on a couple today as well for about 17k making some profit there but 83 rated a decent midfielder with some decent stats I reckon if you can get him for about 15k or less he should be a good investment we then have Raheem Sterling this card is unbelievable 94 pace 86 dribbling I mean I think he is one of the top options now as a winger in the Premier League and we don't really have that many right wing options on the left. You've got people like Son, Martial, you've got people like Hazard if you've got a lot of coins, player of the month Mane. But on the right you only really have Salah and Sterling. And I think that this guy 
is definitely going to be a player people want to go with. So if you can get him for maybe 120k or less, I reckon that could be a good price. Just wait and see what his price goes to. Maybe not 120k, but just see what his lowest is. That's what I would recommend doing, just monitoring these player prices. And when they seem to be at their lowest, which should be around the weekend because a lot of packs will be opened, I would recommend going ahead and picking him up. Next up, we have the uh, the other players in the strike. Which are, uh, the majority of these I wouldn't recommend investing in. Immobile, there's so many better options or so many similar options uh, in the Chaos UA. So I wouldn't recommend going ahead with him. Same with Icardi. He's another one of those similar options to Immobile. You've got people like Dybala, Higuain, Belotti, and loads of other good players. So those are two I wouldn't recommend investing in. And I would say the same for Thiago for a different, re different reason that he is very, very expensive. And his stats aren't crazy for that price. Like, yeah, he's got really good dribbling. He's got five-star skills, really good passing. But if you play him as a centre mid, he's not got the defending or the physical. And he's not tall enough or strong enough. And if you play him as an attack midfielder, he's not got the pace or the shooting. His finishing ability isn't that good. You never really see anyone using Thiago. You see people using people like Hamas Rodriguez. You see people using Vidal if they go with mid midfielders from this league right here. You don't really see many people using Thiago. He's not a very popular player on the game despite having some really good stats. He just doesn't have the stats to make him kind of merit that price tag, in my opinion. And also, he got a lot of informs last year, and those first informs instantly dropped a lot in value. So, I would not really invest in him right now, just because for the price, you can get a lot of better investments. I'd much rather go and get like 20 discard price informs than one at Tiago. I think that would be a much better option. We then have Nabil Fakir, one of the best investments from this team of the week, in my opinion. He's about 80k right now, and I reckon if you can get him for about 80 to 70k, He's a good investment to get, but just monitor his price and see how low he does drop. I think that's a really good one to get. He's one of the best players now on the game from the league. Uh, really, really nice stats there. Just across the board, great physical, passing, shooting, pace, and dribbling. And you could play him attacking midfield, centre mid, centre forward, or striker. And uh, I think he is definitely a good one to go and pick up if you can get him cheap enough. Gabriel Jesus, he is one of the ones that you guys can get if you have a lot of coins. For right now, about 420k. I reckon if he drops below about 400k, somewhere between that 370 to 400k mark, he'd be a good investment to get there. Because he is one of the most hyped up, popular and overpowered players on this game. I mean, he is very, very expensive, but... For what you're guessing, you're getting one of the best strikers on this game. There's so much hype around him right now. And if you can get him for that price, I reckon he is going to rise up a lot. People are going to want to go and buy him for their weekend league teams. The only issue is, though, he is on such good form right now, he's very likely to get more informs on the game. So, obviously, as soon as he gets an inform, this price is going to drop down. As it's no longer going to be the best Jesus on the game, there'll be a better one. So, I think for that reason, it's quite a risky one. But you could make a lot of coins on him. He's easily going to rise like 50 or 60k after a couple of weeks just because he's not going to be that common on the market. And he is a very, very good player. Now heading down into the bench, we've got Leconte. I think he's a great investment if you can get him cheap enough. 14 to 15k is a good price. Anything cheaper is going to be really good. Anything over that I wouldn't really recommend paying. But 83 rated, he's a good investment there for SPCs. If you don't need him for any of the ultimate screen ones, he's going to drop down and he will be a good one to go and get. Uh, same with Elistundo, he's going to be a good one for SBCs, he's a discard price player, he does have some decent stats, how tall is he? 5 foot 10 medium medium work rates, not amazing for a centre back but still he does have some nice stats in terms of pace defending and physical and if you can get him for about 12k I think he's a good investment so I would recommend going with him. Alisson Drini, he's got unbelievable stats, he's been hyped up a lot recently just because of how good they are, I've seen AA9 skills using him and a few other people and they have said he's very very good so I think that will increase his price and with those stats he looks like a great super sub and he looks to be Probably the best French right mid on the game. Even though Dembele has 5-star skills, 5-star weak foot, this guy betters him in pretty much every other stat. So I think he is probably going to rise up to about 40 or 50k in a few weeks' time. If you can get him, he's right now about 35k. If you can get him for about 20 to 30k, I reckon that is a good investment to get. Wait, though, and see what his lowest is. If you can get him around that 20k mark, that is a great one. Pereiro, he actually has a really good card, and he's very cheap. He's about 12k. I'd recommend getting this guy because he has a really nice guard, nice well-rounded stats, he looks like a great attacking midfielder, really good shooting. Does he have four-star skills? No, he doesn't. That's a, a bit of a downside, but he's six foot two, which is always good, especially if you want to play him as a centre mid. I believe he's the cheapest, uh, decent rated goal in form from this team of the week, so I would recommend getting him. If you can get him for about 12 or 11k or so, 
Again, very, very cheaply. It's a no-risk investment. He's not going to drop down. He can only rise up in price. So I would recommend getting that. Wilfred Zaha. He is apparently very, very good. I've seen a lot of reviews on him, and I've heard he is a great player. I say, if you can get him for 100k or less, he's going to be a great investment. Right now, he's just over that 100k mark. 80 to 100k, I think, would be a great price to get him for. Because just look at the stats. He's got unbelievable pace, good dribbling. Very good agility and balance in his in-game stats. Four-star skills. I reckon if he can get him cheap enough, he is a good investment to get. Iago Aspas has a good card, but sadly doesn't have the skills. And with a lot of other great options in this league, the likes of Bakambu, and then the more expensive people like Griezmann. You've also got people like Benzema. You've got Camaro. You've got Ben Yedda. So many other options. Personally, I wouldn't go with Iago Aspas because he doesn't have the standout stats you want. I mean, he does have good shooting, pace, and dribbling, but he doesn't have four-star skill moves. He doesn't have, like, a really good weak foot or anything. He's not really tall. He doesn't have the best work rates. And I think if you're looking for Spanish strikers, there's better options. If you're looking for La Liga strikers, there are also better options. Omar Osama, 82 rated, though. Very, very cheap. I would recommend going with him. You can get him about 12 or 13k. And I would recommend just waiting and seeing what his lowest price is. With all of these disco price ones, they may go up because of Ultimate Scream. If they do, don't pick them up. But if Ultimate Scream doesn't need informs for some of the SBCs, they're going to be really cheap as anyone who invests in them will then sell them on in the market and just dump them all to get their coins back. And uh, you can get some really cheap deals if that is the case. Next, we've got this guy here called Strakoshka. I know he is very low rated. 80 rated is one of the lower rated ones in this team of the week. But he has got some very nice stats. Over 80 and everything apart from speed. And he's playing for Lazio. So you never know. Could be a decent keeper on the game to use. He does have some nice stats. And he's so, so cheap. I mean, he's a Serie A in form. Could be useful for future SBCs. And you can get him for pretty much discard price. About 11k. I got him even less last night. I got a couple for just over 10,000. So if you get him cheap enough, he's a really good one. So get him for under 11 k he's only going to rise up in price we then have this guy called berry now i would recommend getting him just because of how good his card is if you look at those stats unbelievable over 70 and everything apart from defending really good physical good pace and you can get him for about nine and a half to 10k complete this guy price get him as cheap as you can and just keep him in your club because although he's only 75 rated he's an english player so that's gonna hype him up if for example harry kane or someone another english player maybe sterling who's already started off very well in this month if someone like that has a good month in the Premier League, player of the month type, English informs, he's going to rise up in price. And also, if another player from this league, he currently plays in League 2 for Luton Town, uh, gets an inform, this guy's going to be one of the few decent players, one of the few goal players, if not the only goal player you're going to be able to use to link to him. So let's say a random English striker from League 2 who's got a silver card, because silver cards do get straight upgrades now to gold if they get an inform. Let's say someone like 90 pace gets an inform, this guy's going to be one of the few you can link to him. So I would recommend getting him. You can get him for like 9.5k, so very, very cheap one. I would say the same for Boythroid, although... If you've got the option between him and this previous inform here, Barry, go with Barry. He's got a lot better stats, and this guy just doesn't really look that good. So no one's going to want to use him apart from as an investment. And also he plays in the Japanese league, which no one really goes near. So that's one which, I mean, he may go up a bit, but there's not really much apart from being English. So I would recommend going with Barry. And then these two German guys at the end, Michel, I think, is a good one. And if you can get him for about 10 or 11k, he should be a good one. He's got really good pace. Really good stats across the board. Playing in the third Bundesliga. I think he's a good one. This guy here though, Dutch. Plays in the same league and just doesn't really have that good stats. So I would not recommend going with him. Actually he plays in the Bundesliga 2, not the Bundesliga 3. But doesn't really have that good stats. And there's a lot of other already very low rated German informed strikers on the game. So even if someone like Sane had a really good month in the league. He's not going to rise up that much in price because there's already quite a few options around a very similar price mark. So I'd say the top investments from this team of the week would be... This guy, Belushi, 83 rated, really good one for SBCs. Again, that is going to be dependent on Ultimate Screen, but if he's not needed for those, he will be a good one to go and get. Barutsky and Fabra as well, low rated disc guy price ones. I always like going with those ones. And then down here, we've got Alessandrini. I think he's a solid one. Leconte, 83 rated. He is another good one. And then Zaha, if you can get him about 80 to 100k, should be good too. And you've got a lot of coins. Jesus and Sterling are two very, very good ones. Fakir is also a great investment. And then if you have the coins, De Gea is as well. The ones I would stay away from, though, would be Immobile, Icardi, Thiago. And then Kimmich is a decent one, but, I mean, 
I don't think he's going to rock it on massively just because of his pace. But I invested in his last inform for like 25k and actually rose, I believe, in the end to about 40 or 50. So this one here could still be a good one. And then these low rated ones. So you've got some decent ones, but stay away from Boy Throid and Dutch and you should be good. So there we go. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're on here. Hopefully I'll be live streaming later for Ultimate Scream. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care.